What up, people? This is your boy Crypto Salvo here. Today we'll be talking about XLM, uh, Stella, the little brother of XRP. As we see here, a tweet from Crypto XRP Chimp. Uh, he's uh, showing how XLM is a sister to XRP's brother. XRP, sorry. I would say that they are brothers together and uh, XLM is like the little brother to XRP and as we know that uh, the founder of uh, the developer of XRP Ledger uh, Jed McCaleb is the one who left Ripple who left uh, OpenCoin and uh, founded and founder sorry for that English <laughs> and uh, found Stella Foundation and this new uh, this cryptocurrency called uh, XLM that's the ticker for it uh, Stella so it's an open network for storing and moving money uh, today we'll be talking about XLM news the partnerships it has and is developing stories in the cryptocurrency space how is it related to the ISO 222 family the interledger protocol family um, what is utility what is use case and uh, price prediction for xlm that's right we'll be taking a look at the charts we'll be uh, analyzing the charts and seeing the short term and long term price prediction for stellar stellar is an open network for storing and moving money it is borderless limitless powerful it makes money better there's global payment apps you know we have uh, payment apps like Satoshi Pay. Later we'll be looking at the partnerships that's utilizing Stellar's Dex decentralized exchange to uh, move money, like how we send emails across. Uh, you know, is 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 the is the the liquidity. It provides liquidity in the movement of money. Uh, very similar to what XRP is doing, uh, but it has some things uh, it does not have certain things that xrp's decentralized exchange has xrp's ledger has uh, like xrp has uh, the rippling um, component the rippling uh, part in the decentralized exchange in its ledger but uh, however xlm does not have xlm uh, is has anchors Consensus is a uh, based on consensus decentralized exchange. There's you can issue assets uh, whether it's free or control, and uh, uh, the main one of the main use cases for XLM is in fact peer to peer trade. Uh, that's automated. You can do that. So uh, we'll be taking a look into that more. Um, it's super interesting as we see here. This new this beautiful uh, UI for their website Stella Foundation um, now I just want to debunk some myths regarding uh, some uh, things like where people say XLM versus XRP or XLM versus quant or XLM versus this XLM versus that uh, you know I believe that XRP and XLM will work together in the new financial system where when we usher the new financial system we will be seeing xlm and xrp working together you know i believe that xlm will be used for peer to peer xlm will be used for your example grocery stores or like for supermarkets uh you know from where i am uh, you know we can talk about ntuc or cold storage or uh you know fair price this kind of places can use uh, xlm for payment services right um uh in fact we call it lumens you know we can call it lumens hey do you have five lumens you know so we may never know xlm will be working peer to peer we can send lumens to our friends in the near future um there are even talks about uh stellar lumens target targeting the stock market tokenizing the stock market and providing liquidity uh, for the stock market, which is actually a trillion dollar market as we know even the derivatives market as well could be uh, target for stellar XLM 
right? That's amazing. So um, basically, the the whole idea about Stella is, uh, of course, there's cross border payments included in it. Uh, like example, if let's say there's someone in a uh, uh, your one of your relatives in a country, uh, example at uh, U.S. and uh, or let's say at uh, New Zealand, there's a there's a relative at New Zealand, and you want to send money to them immediately. Maybe uh, they fell down somewhere. Maybe they have a, a, a day surgery to attend to, and they do not have enough cash, or they do not have uh, enough money uh, to pay off the surgeries, uh, uh, the procedures, fees, and the hospital fees. You know, uh, and they ask you for help. Usually, when you send money through banks, firstly they will take your transaction fees. They for, secondly they will take the foreign currency exchange fees. So there's so much of friction in this uh, transfer of your money from uh, one country to that uh, to another country to your relative example, and and moreover, uh, it takes more than uh, more than a day. In fact, it takes three to five days or even a week for the money to actually get into the hands of your relatives or your family or your friends who are in dire need of that money immediately. So in urgent cases like this, this is where uh, Stellar Lumens, uh, XLM, uh, the payment mechani uh, mechanis uh, mechanism uh, comes in to help uh, in situations like this because uh, it will bypass the whole uh, transaction fees, the currency exchange fees, the time that it takes for the person to receive that amount. And so in that way, it is it removes the middleman, it removes the uh, the, mid the profit that the middleman gets, which is the broker or the, or the bank itself, and directly sends to the person that you have intended to send the money to. So if you send through via, via the banks, what will happen is, in fact, 20% uh, of your cash or 20% of the amount that you're sending to will be absorbed by all these unnecessary fees. But Stellar Lumens bypass those fees. So that is amazing. And uh, so example, like I mentioned, my relative in New Zealand will receive Lumens in less than three to five seconds as, as we can see here the closing time for the operation here is three to five or uh, five seconds in fact um, in the stellar ledger right so this is very similar to XRP and the fees is also much much lesser in fact uh, if I'm trading via Binance uh, to Coinbase or to uh, Coinbase to KuCoin uh, even among the exchanges, the centralized exchanges, the fees of XLM is just 0.02 XLM. So, um, you know, sometimes when we buy uh, crypto using the credit card or the debit card, what happens is there is a, a percentage uh, fees that the exchanges take. But even uh, via, but with uh, XLM, with uh, while uh, you can actually bypass those fees uh, when you move your assets uh, from one exchange to another exchange. So it's amazing. So these are the uh, use cases, the lay uh, use cases in layman's term for Stellar. It is an open source blockchain. Um, Right, and it's, uh, it was launched in 2014, uh, just right after XRP was launched at around uh, 2012 or 2013. Um, you know, the XLM is a native digital currency, and uh, anyone could build on Stellar. That's the beautiful thing, right? Anyone from financial institutions to normal people they can issue assets the common people too can issue their own assets for example for house loans for for uh, real estate purposes they can issue these assets um, so that is amazing so stellar foundation it has actually recently proposed in regards to um, smart contracts enablement in the Stellar uh, blockchain, in the Stellar ecosystem, uh, which is very interesting because uh, smart contracts will 
open a whole huge uh, part of the world of, of uh, cryptocurrency space to enter into the stellar ecosystem right that is amazing uh, so now we'll be taking a look at uh, Tala and uh, Visa team up on cryptocurrency solution for global underbanked so uh, recently we got to know that in 2021 Tala and Visa uh, has teamed up with the stellar development foundation that is bullish man that is bullish if Visa has teamed up with Stellar Development Foundation, that is bullish, right? And you can go and check out this article uh, in Tala's own uh, official page, right? And uh, also for in regards to the other partnerships, we have IBM as Stellar's partner. We have Samsung Blockchain as Stellar's partner that we see here how uh, you know they have integrated Stella even in the mobile phones that Samsung will be uh, uh, will be uh, you know selling where they have this app just to just for uh, consumers to uh, buy crypto much more easily in their uh, devices so uh, we have Satoshi pay here uh, there's so many so many well-known uh, partners here uh, that we can see uh, there are partners with Stellar and also as I mentioned uh, coming back in regards to XRP versus XLM and all that as I said XLM is can be used for peer-to-peer -peer, can be used uh, uh, common people can issue assets on the Stellar decentralized exchange right and I believe XRP will be used to target the central banks the CBDCs the central bank digital currencies um, the uh, it can provide liquidity to the derivatives exchange with uh, derivatives uh, market which is 6.6 .6, uh, trillion uh, market you know so XRP will target that and XLM could target that too of course uh, but I believe that it is uh, XLM has this uh, this this special use case towards uh, peer to peer um, uh, use you know so as we saw this once again and yes now stellar becomes third official blockchain for usdc stable coin you know what happens when an uh, ecosystem gets its own stable coin or uh, it gets a stable coin issued on it what happens is that uh, the volatility of that coin will be negated because we are as we see stable coins are the volatility killers in uh, ecosystem so in fact uh, recently we got a uh, we got some rumors and news that you know the XRP ledger might have uh, stable coin coming or the or even ripple labs could develop a stable coin at the XRP ledger you know uh, which is interesting which is interesting we do not know it will if it will happen there is a proposal of that and if it happens it could actually help with the volatility as well the price fluctuations as well uh, during transactions so this is very interesting here Stellar becomes third official blockchain for USDC stable coin we are circle you know uh, circle is now partnering with many more people uh, like how they partnered with Algorand blockchain which is another ISO 222 coin in the Interledger protocol family we will be taking a look at Algorand um, real soon right just um, interesting now institutional money moving to Cardano and Stellar we heard about this it is bullish man because uh, Stellar, I believe right now, it is uh, highly uh, held by, uh, in fact, Grayscale's uh, crypto trust, right? Later, we'll be looking at it and people are just stacking XLM. You know, sometimes they got to move with the whales. In fact, it is good to see what are the whales are doing, what's the whales uh, uh, positions, you know, what are their uh, accumulation cryptos you know i think xlm is one of them and if you are here looking to buy some xlm and you're hesitating whether you should uh let me tell you it is is not a financial advice 
but Stellar has huge potential in the future and uh, according to your risk portfolio you will evaluate you can evaluate it and uh, see if you want to invest into XLM or not but all I could tell you is XLM is a great great opportunity right so we see there's financial institutions interest in XLM in uh, Stella um, and then uh, you know there's another article that talks about uh, Grayscale adding uh, XLM into their portfolio and uh, this is the latest update for the Grayscale Stellar Lumens Trust which is uh, 19.7 million uh, AUM and uh, the holdings per share is $25.56 which is interesting so if you are in the stocks and exchange and looking to uh, you know add some uh, trust or ETFs into your portfolio then Stellar Lumens Trust could be one that uh, that is that is potentially uh, profiting uh, not a financial advice uh, please evaluate your risk portfolio now coming to XLM's uh, charts right like I mentioned we'll be taking a look at XLM's charts we can see here uh, a double bottom here I believe there is a double bottom here you know and that is why we saw a, a price breakout here and potentially we might be seeing a uh, heads and shoulder top uh, if that's the case you know there might be a break breakdown uh, or break up uh, you know breaking upwards or breaking downwards via the trend line you know uh, generally we are still in uh, lower than XLM's uh, usual price which is around 43 to 44 cents you know around this area uh, it always ranges you know so um, uh, but we will be soon I hope to see uh, upside soon I believe it will be there will be upside and usually it moves along with XRP for some reason you know uh, so if there is any bullish news for XRP we will be seeing that uh, we'll see XLM move along with XRP all right uh, right now it's sitting at 27 cents 27 ish cents and uh, we can probably see a 35 cents range it's a uh, major resistance in fact is actually around the 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 33 to 35 cents range you know so we gotta take a look at that there is uh there is a re resistance here and uh hopefully we can get a break upwards and uh, many more uh, bullish news from XLM coming um, and many more partnerships so my price prediction for XLM for in the end of the year or next year or the end of the bull market would be $18 that's right you know it sounds outrageous but I believe as it moves along with XRP, um, after XRP gets its uh, settlement news and uh, its Ripple IPO and uh, and uh, exchanges listed, you know, and as XLM moves along with XRP, we might see a $18 XLM. Uh, short term, I would uh, hope to see a 50 cents or a 80 cents XLM uh, real soon and uh, long term I'm gonna see a uh, $18 XLM in fact the long term I'm talking about is 2022 um, so let's let's uh, hope uh, hope for that get excited for that you know if those who are stacking XLM you know uh, keep uh, keep doing no, keep doing it not no financial advice but I'm gonna stack some XLM and we are gonna see Stella to the moon you know we are going to see stellar proportions of uh, gains coming out of this and i believe that uh, so i hope that uh, this video has helped you somehow uh, has uh, you know kind of given you the understanding of what is stellar is in layman's term i'm no ta expert i'm no um, expert in uh in, in in technical analysis of the mark the charts 
but I hope that I have given you the case to actually uh, look into XLM and add it into your portfolio if uh, after you make after you do uh, your own research as well I'm not a financial advisor once again I'll tell you that please evaluate your risk portfolio whatever I've said here written or verbal is not financial advice with that being said um, I'll see you all later thank you guys do subscribe like comment and share see you later Oh, my God.